Hi, I'm Dave Halewood. I'm joined today by three fabulous guests, Guru Mechanic Nobby Clark. Hi, Nobby. How are you doing, David? How are I'm you? very well, thank you. Good. And two beautiful ladies here, our Tamburini Ducati 900SS and our Pierre Terre Blanche 900 Evolution Machine. You were in the Isle of Man in 78 when uh, my father was racing uh, the Ducati. Tell us a little bit about that. I think it was the only, only uh, Ducati there, um, which was entered by Steve Wynn. And um, your dad said to me, you know, could you, will you come over and give me a hand? And every, the team that I was working for at the time, they said yes, you know. And um, we all thought it was a great idea. I know. Uh, must have been, he must have been, had a lot of pressure at the time, but um, he didn't show it. Very cool, calm and collected. Very. I suppose you'd have to be, after being away for such a long time, mm -hmm. and then putting absolutely everything on the line to come back right. and do a big win like that. Obviously there were many different types of bikes there. We had single, we had multi-cylinder bikes. But the Ducati was the big V-twin. There's some fabulous footage howling across the top of the mountain. What sort of top ends do you think they were doing there? I would say 150 plus. That's fast. And the sound from the V2 end was quite, uh, quite an emotional sound, wasn't it? Real oh, yeah. thundering noise. Right. But Ducatis have always had that special sound. You could sort of visualise the power. Absolutely. He had a, a lot of confidence in the bike and he liked the bike. And um, I think his main opposition was going to be Phil Reed, which um, I think Phil was probably thinking to himself, it's going to be probably my greatest win. And your dad upset it. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I don't, think, uh, I don't think Phil was best pleased on that day, was he? No. But, uh, I mean, Phil was riding on the factory Honda at the time. Right. And dad was on what was essentially a privateer Ducati, right. a road machine that had been, you know, sort of converted and tuned. Yeah. We know the outcome of the story. Right. Um, what a fabulous way to do it, and a fabulous machine. Yeah. I mean, subsequently Ducati bought out the replica which we have here today, mm -hmm. and um, there are a lot of machines like this still fetching very, very good money. Oh, yeah. And um, again, some sort of 25 years on, we're also now looking at the brand new version, uh, which is a couple of years old now, but um, right. amazing to see that Ducati still believe that the Halewood name is is, is a legacy worth keeping going right. and producing this fabulous bike as a tribute to it. Yeah. So, um, for me, incredible. I think, you know, Ducati's fortunes climbed up an awful lot because the Isle of Man was always a selling race. If you won there, you could sell bikes. Well, Nobby, thanks very much for coming down today. We could talk about bikes all day, couldn't we? Right. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Doesn't get much better than that.